Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and I'm super excited that it's summer road trip season again. Now, last year I shared my top five essentials for a successful family road trip, and today I'm back to share five more ideas. But this time, the whole family's gonna help. Jackson's gonna share some fun snack ideas. Lily's gonna share her favorite activities for the car. Mackenzie's gonna show you how she helps keep everything organized. And then my husband and I are gonna share some safety tips with you. And we're also gonna share with you an app that can help you be prepared in case there's any emergencies on your trip. So stay tuned. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. I also want to give a special thank you to Michelin USA for partnering with me on today's video. And without further ado, let's get going. For this road trip, Jackson is in charge of the snacks. So what are we packing today, Jack? We packed some cheeses, some cucumbers, some grapes, and some pistachios. Ooh, all of our favorite things. And we're gonna use these new containers. These are from Easy Lunch Boxes. And they are squares and they have four little compartments. Right, inside. so you can put a sweet thing, a salty thing, a treat, lots of different things in this one compartment. So, are you ready to pack them? Uh -huh. Let's do it. The purple one's Lily's, the pink one's Mackenzie's, the green one's mine, and Mommy, he's, she's gonna pack Griffin's Toddler food. Right, he needs special foods. He doesn't eat pistachios and things like that. So and grapes that are full. Yeah, he can't. He has to have slices. Right, he can't have whole grapes yet. We're gonna put a little bit of these cucumbers in each. Mm -hmm. I'm all done. Great job, Jackson. I love these snack containers because you can put a variety of items. And I went ahead and went for items that were not gonna be super messy in the car. These are small enough that the kids can keep them with them in their seats that don't take up a lot of space. And these things that I chose don't need to be refrigerated. So it's awesome. Oh yes, and these things do not leak. They're great. Now Lily's gonna share with us some of our favorite activities for the car. First I have these two games. Now these types of games are actually made for the car and they're great. We found them in the dollar spot at Target so they weren't expensive. I really like that they have a metal case to put it away in because that's so important to stay organized during your road trip is to have somewhere to put the toys away. And this is excellent too because the kids can play with each other because it's a tic-tac-toe game, but they can also play with it by themselves because it's a play scene. So they can move the little magnets around and just do it like that, or they can play tic-tac-toe. So this one is vehicles, and then this one is superheroes. We also have road trip bingo. That's right, these are also from the dollar spot of Target, so they weren't expensive at all, and I really like these because they're reusable. They're a nice cardboard piece with these little doors that actually open and close as the kids um, find them along the way. So totally reusable, great for just a dollar. And the kids could actually play, you know, each other, they could all do it, or just one child could do it. My favorite thing for cut is the boogie board. <laughs> if you've never heard of a boogie board, they're a lot of fun. The kids can write on there and then erase it and just play over and over. This one was actually from Costco and it's the new version. I like that it comes with two pens in case one gets lost. And this one also comes with three bonus stencils. So the kids can draw and draw. It's not gonna make a mess. It's not crayons, it's not markers. They can erase it and use it over and over again. For our road trip, we're using this back seat organizer. That's right, we got it on Amazon and it's really handy. And what's good about this specific one is that it's reinforced on the edges. Once you put all of your items in, it's not gonna sag. And this actually goes on the back of either the driver's seat or the passenger seat. But this one's gonna go right in front of Mackenzie, right? Mm -hmm. So you can help and you can reach everything. So why don't you show us what's inside? Okay, first we have this pencil pouch. Uh -huh. you, take, you can take it off and inside there's pencils. Cool, and what might you use pencils for? Drawing madness. We have these, it's a fun game where you fill in the blanks. Uh huh. So you can play it with your brother and sister. And you make up your own story. Mm -hmm. What else do you have in there? We also have some DVDs for the DVD player. Mm -hmm. 
we also have this remote for the DVD player. Which is such a good idea because we've lost several remotes already. So I'm glad that it finally has a home so it won't get lost. Okay, what else? We have tissues, the iPad, and wipes. Mm -hmm. And we have these wipes for Griffin's nose. Yeah, those are boogie wipes. They really help clean noses. We have a little toy right here. Mm -hmm, there's room for toys in there. And I have my drink right here. Mm -hmm. And a snack for Griffin. And you can take out the iPad, right? Yeah. So they don't have to have it. It tucks right back there in the top. And yeah. right here, uh -huh. we a... have emergency diapers. Right, so if I forget my diaper bag, which sometimes does happen, we at least have one diaper for Griffin. And we have one pull-up for Lily, just in case. You never know when there's an accident gonna happen. So yeah, this is actually not even full. We could fit even more in there. So I'm really happy that these things can just stay in the car. They'll be off the car floor, and they're not gonna go flying around the car because they're all secure within these pockets. Okay, so we've talked about snacks, we've talked about activities, we've talked about how to keep it all organized, but now I wanna talk about something that's really important when it comes to road trips, and that is safety. First up, I wanna talk about tires. Now honestly, last year for my road trip, the last thing I was thinking about was the tires, but it's so important. Recently, my husband and I had the opportunity to see this firsthand when we attended the Truth About Worn Tires event put on by Michelin in South Carolina. There we learned that the brakes don't stop your car. The tires actually stop your car. So it's so important to know how your tires are gonna perform over time. So while we were at this event, we actually got to get behind the wheel of several test cars and try out new tires versus worn tires. And it was a wet track, so we were slipping and sliding everywhere. It was so fun, but it was also really enlightening. I had no idea that some brands worn tire could actually perform better than other brands new tires. Do you get what I'm saying? I know it sounds weird, but it's true. And we got to feel that firsthand. So you definitely need to check your tires anytime you're going on a big road trip. So obvious slippage again, right? Mm -hmm. But note how slow we're going when these slips are happening. Yeah. I mean, it's 20 miles an hour. Yeah. There you go. How's that feel? Uh, it feels like I'm sliding a little bit. <laughs> So you say you're from California, right? No, yeah. no snow ever. Oh my god, we're like sliding! <laughs> oh no! I think I will, you know, think hard about, you know, how old the tires are that, that I have on my vehicles at home. We also learned some simple ways to test to see if we need to replace the tires. Have you guys ever heard of the penny test? It's a simple way to check. You just stick a penny in the tread of your tire, and if you see the top of Abraham Lincoln's head, then you know you need to replace your tires. Another thing you can do is ask your dealership when you buy your tires about the performance rating of worn tires. Not a lot of information is available, so definitely start that dialogue whenever you're buying new tires. Now lastly, I'm gonna share a really easy way for you to be prepared on your road trip in case of an emergency. Of course, we never wanna have an emergency when we're on the road, but just in case we do, we wanna be prepared. But some people might not know where to start and what they should bring. So I have an app for that. The app is called Para, and it's all about preparing today to thrive for tomorrow. Now on this app, you can actually find lots of different helpful checklists of things that you need for different emergency situations. So you can find a toddler survival kit, a basic first aid kit, a list on food storage, and the really awesome thing about these checklists is that they're put together by experts who really know what you need in an emergency situation. This app also makes it easy to inventory the items that you have, and it also gives you an easy way to find these items if you wanna purchase them. It's like a one-stop shop for it all. So the list that I'm using for our family road trip is the complete basic vehicle kit. There's 22 different items, things that you might need in any emergency. So you can go through the list and see what you have, what you still need to get. This definitely takes a lot of the guesswork out of being prepared because they tell you what you need, they tell you where you can get it. It makes my life a lot easier. Okay guys, there you have it. Five more ideas to hopefully make your next family road trip a success and a safe one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.